Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a really cool dinosaur, and this is the Ultimasaurus. Now, I didn't know much about this before I looked it up, but once I started drawing it, I thought it was really cool, and I had a lot of fun with this. So hope you guys have a lot of fun and get to enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Ultimasaurus, we're going to begin with the eye. So we're going to start right up here. And let's begin by just making a little line that's just going to go down and it's going to come back like here in a check mark shape. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down and up. Then we'll draw a couple little lines right down here for part of the eye. Starting here, we'll draw a line that's going to go up and down. And right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and down like this. It's going to come down to a point. We're going to go up, and then we are going to bring it back. So we just kind of went down, and we're going to come up back and back here by the um, eye. Then we just want to draw a little line that's going to go down, and we'll come out to here for the bottom of the mouth. We'll draw a little line that's going to come down, and then we'll bring it up. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go over, and then we're going to bring it up and come up to here for the jaw. Then we'll add a little curved line in here. Then we want to add some sharp teeth. I'm going to put some small teeth right here with a little bit bigger one, and then we're going to add some more small teeth coming all the way to the back. We'll do the same th thing here with just some small teeth. Starting here, let's draw a little line that's going to come down. We're going to go out and bring it back here for the tongue. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's just going to come up. Then we're going to bring it down and curve into here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and we'll come down. There's also going to be some horns like a triceratops. So let's draw a line that's going to go up to a point, and then we're going to bring it down. And another one, we're going to bring it up to a point, and then down. Starting here, we'll draw a little line that's going to go up, and then it's going to come down here. And then we'll draw a little line that's going to come down for part of the nose. Now, starting right about here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to come up and around for like a little horn sticking out. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go down and then in. And we'll do a couple more of these right here just to show a few wrinkles on the neck. Now for the arm. Let's start by making a line that's going to come down. Then we'll draw another one that comes down at an angle. We're going to make a line that's going to come down to a point and then up. We'll make another one that comes down to a point and then we'll bring it up here. I'll also draw another one back here just to show that there are about three claws. We'll add an extra little line. They'll make a line that's going to come up here. And then it's going to come up and over. Right here we'll make a line that comes down. We're going to come down and then in. Now right here we want to make the leg. So to do this, let's draw a line that's going to come down at an angle. 
then we're going to bring it back here. Next we'll make a line that comes straight down. Then we're going to make a line that's going to come down and then it's going to come back here. Then we'll make another one that goes down and then comes back. I'm going to draw another line that's going to go down and then it's going to come up. Then we'll make a line that goes over and we're going to come straight up here. Next we're going to bring this line up and we're going to bring this line and kind of curve it to here. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down to here. Then we're going to bring it right to about there. I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to make it come to a point and then back. I'm going to draw a small bump on here like this that goes down and up. And then another one's going to go down and then it's going to come up here. So it kind of looks like it's got that club tail. Now before we do any more details, I'm going to take this and we're just going to bring this out to here and we're going to bring it up. Now starting up here, we're going to make the back. So draw the back, we're going to make a line that goes over and then it's going to come down. We'll make another one that goes over and down. I'm going to keep repeating this all the way along the back. When you get to about here, kind of right above the leg, we want to start bringing it down. So we're just going to go down and in, down and in, and we're just going to continue this all the way until we get to this line of the tail down here. So let's do it a few more times until we connect to there. Now we're going to add some spikes on here. So I'm just going to add some little triangle shapes all along the back of our Ultimasaurus. So we're just going to add these little spikes coming all along here. And we're just going to put these all across the back. Now starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down. We're going to go in and then we're going to bring this down to here. I'm going to draw this line. It's going to go down to a curve and come back. We'll make another one that curves down and comes up. We'll make one more that curves up and then it's going to come in. Then we're going to bring this line up to here to show the other arm. Then we're going to add the other leg back here. So I'm just going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to bring it down to here. And then we're just going to bring a line that comes down and over. Next we're going to bring a line that goes up and then in. Just show that that other leg is kind of hidden back there. Now, this is our basic drawing of our Ultimasaurus, and there's lots of different ways you can draw this, design it, however. I'm just going to kind of keep it simple, and we're just going to add a few different de details in here. But if you have some different details you want to add, then go right ahead. So let's start with the face. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little curved line right here, and a couple little lines right around the top and bottom of the mouth. I'm also going to add a few curved lines in there. I want to make a little line that's going to come up and we're going to go down and around to just show a little bit of detail on the head. I'm also going to add kind of like an oval shape that doesn't quite close all the way. I'm going to add a couple more quick little lines right by the head and a couple little curved lines right here just to show where the little kind of spike or horn is sticking out. 
I'm going to add just a couple little lines right underneath this part of the head too. I like to add a few little curved lines kind of right around the arms. And a couple more right around here. That's a few broken lines on there. We're going to add some curved lines for the claws. I always like to add an extra curve or two. Same thing on the toes down here. We can add a couple little broken lines right by where the knee would be. And a few more kind of curved lines to show where the leg is kind of sitting. We'll add some broken lines right around the leg. And a few broken lines by the tail. I'm going to add a couple little spikes sticking out of the tail. And I'm going to add some kind of curved broken lines right around here to show some details of the club tail. I'm also going to add a few extra little lines on here to show that those spikes kind of come down, or the little armor plating. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a long broken line that just kind of comes all the way down to here, just show where those plates kind of end. Then for a little detail on the plates, I'm just going to add a little line on here. I'm going to bring some of these lines down a little bit farther. But I just like to add a little line across the top or the side of each one of these plates for some detail. A few extra little lines and maybe a few little more lines on here. And there you go, there is your drawing of an Ultimasaurus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.